Sometimes, however, other people are actively making chemicals with their body. Typically, this would be with their breath, with their tears, or possibly, I want to underscore possibly, by making what are called pheromones, molecules that they release into the environment, typically through the breath, that enter our system through our nose, our eyes, or our mouth that fundamentally change our biology. I'll just give an example, which is a very salient and interesting one that was published about 10 years ago in the journal Science, showing that humans, men in particular in this study, have a strong biological response and hormonal response to the tears of women. What they did is they had women, and in this case it was only women, for whatever reason, cry and they collected their tears. Then those tears were smelled by male subjects or male subjects got what was essentially the control, which was the saline. Men that smelled these tears that were evoked by sadness had a reduction in their testosterone levels that was significant. They also had a reduction in brain areas that were associated with sexual arousal. They actually recruited subjects that had a high propensity for crying at sad movies, which 